what's going on everybody welcome back to my channel today I have a short and sweet Dollar Tree haul for you but with some new things that I can't wait to show you so let's jump into it first we got the George and Tom's uh, cake cups the ice cream cones um, because you know it's summertime and they're delicious right I also picked up this hair food shampoo um, in the tea tree and lavender water. It smells so good. Um, I know a lot of people were finding this in their stores and a lot of people were not. I was lucky enough to find it. Um, but they were also selling the conditioner. My store did not have the conditioner, but I'm excited to try the shampoo. My daughter's almost out and she needed shampoo, so I figured we'll give this a whirl. And I try it too. I'm the type of person though to where I need conditioner with my shampoo because my hair just, it doesn't like just shampoo. It gives it like a really weird texture no matter what I use. Um, so I need a conditioner too. So this will be great for her though because she has great hair. She's 11, so <laughs> this will work great for her hair. I also picked up this pet treat container. It says pets turn a house into a home, it has a really cute lid. And I got this for my mom's uh, dogs for their treats. Um, I just picked up a whole bunch of treats uh, a couple weeks ago. I didn't um, do a haul or anything, but I picked up a whole bunch of the treats that Dollar Tree has. It's like the bone shaped cookie with the, it's either chicken or sweet potato wrapped around it. But I got a ton of bags. Well, I got like 10 of them. Um, I did not clear the shelf though, <laughs> but I got like 10 of them. So I figured she can open them all up and just throw them all in here, store them in there. And I don't know when they're gone, she can just put a whole bunch of their other treats in there. Uh, even if they're still in the bag, just to keep them good. I also picked up this makeup wipe for my daughter. It's like super, super soft and it works really, really well with just water. Um, she likes it. I like that I don't have to put soap on her face and potentially burn her eyes. Um, and she likes that she could just use water because it's quick and it's easy. And she doesn't have to get her face all wet. Um, she could just wet this and, yeah, use this to wipe her face and it gets everything off. I also picked up some of this Bodycology soap. Um, this is hand soap. And I picked up the Spiced Pumpkin and the Pink Vanilla Wish. And they both smell amazing. I didn't think I'd find like pumpkin anything now because it's not that time of the year. But it smells so stinking good. I can't wait to use it. I picked up three of the pumpkin ones um, that I'm going to put away for fall. And then I just picked up two of these pink vanilla wish ones. Um, I really need a hand soap. I usually use Dove because I wash my hands a lot. Um, I don't like the feeling of having anything on my hands. So as soon as... Um, something is on my hands whether it be when I'm cooking or if something just like drips on my hand like I have to wash my hands I can't just use like hand sanitizer either because it just I need soap and water to feel clean um, for my hands so with all that hand washing my hands get super super dry and Dove has really helped with that they do make a hand wash if you didn't know I usually get it at Walmart it's like five dollars a bottle but I'm almost out of that so short story long um <laughs> I was planning on picking up more Dove today, but then when I saw this, and it's Bodycology, it's a name brand, they usually sell it at Walmart, I figured, uh, heck yeah, and it's not just like a gel soap, so hopefully it's, you know, moisturizing. It says that it is, but things aren't always what they say. We know that, right? <laughs> so we'll see how that works out. I'm excited to try it. I also picked up these Goalie Bites, the multivitamin. Um, it doesn't say if they're for men or women, um, assuming that it doesn't matter. Um, there's 30 in here and hubby is not great when it comes to taking vitamins. I mean, who really is, right? Um, when he does take vitamins though, he prefers the silver ones, like something that, you know, somebody who's like 50 or 55 and older would take just because he does have a lot of issues with his joints and stuff from being in the military. Um... So it just adds a little extra something in there you know, to help with his like joint support and stuff like that. Um, but he's not the best when it comes to taking them. But what man doesn't like a candy bar? <laughs> so when I saw these, I asked him if he wanted them. He was with me. So I asked him if he wanted them, uh, wanted to try them at least. Um, and these taste just like, um, I think it's a Milky Way. That's the one that has like the nougat and the caramel, right? 
I don't eat candy a whole lot, but um, I'm pretty sure that's the one. I got the Goalie Bites uh, a few weeks ago, the energy ones, and they look just like this, and it tastes just like a Milky Way. So, I mean, he's probably going to love them, and hopefully it gets him to take his vitamins. Um, hopefully it's good. I don't know. I don't know if you can really read any of that. But I'm hoping that the stuff that's in it is good. Goalie is supposed to be a good brand and I also got the apple cider vinegar gummies when they had them I know those were like blowing up all over when they first came out um I tried those I'm not crazy about the taste but it's not that bad it's better than apple cider vinegar if you've had it before um the gummies are definitely a better way to go if that's something that you would like to try but goalie is supposed to be really really good I don't know about the vitamins and all that because I've never um tried them and I know it's kind of hard to see here let's see if I can uh, I tried to clear it up for you. I'm sorry. It doesn't want to focus. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's a better way to go for him. And maybe if you have kids that don't like to take their vitamins or something, maybe they can take something like this. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Um, like older kids, like teens, maybe. Um, this might be something you might want to try for $1.25. It doesn't hurt to try, right? Um, so yeah, pick those up. We'll see how that goes. I picked up this Betty Crocker No Bake Bites Cookie Dough Birthday Cake with Vanilla Flavored Drizzle. Um... Yeah, my daughter said she wants to try that, so we're going to give it a try and see how it is. I figured this is something that the kids can do together. They can make it together. Um, and yeah, enjoy it after. They also have some name brand cereals. I know everybody goes crazy for the name brand cereals, and why not for $1.25? Because I'm sure that if my store turns into a Dollar Tree Plus, this is not going to be a $1.25. We can say goodbye to the $1.25 cereals, but if you have a Dollar Tree Plus... And you're still finding name brand cereals for $1.25, let me know. Because I won't mind the Dollar Tree Plus so much if I know that we're still getting good stuff like this for $1.25. Um, but anyways, IHOP mini pancake cereal in blueberry and syrup flavored. And this is the family size, 19 ounces for $1.25. I'm not a cereal person. My daughter will not eat cereal. My hubby does not eat cereal. But I wanted to try it. Like, I'll eat cereal. But, like, I'm super, super picky. So, I'll eat, like, I usually eat, like, the shredded wheat. Um, the frosted shredded wheat. The blueberry. Or uh, cocoa pebbles. I love those. The honey smacks. I love those. That's pretty much where my love of cereal ends. Um, but I'm kind of excited to try this. Because I love pancakes. And blueberries. So... We're going to give this a shot. So keep an eye out in your store for this and try it. And if you have tried it, let me know. Because I've never seen this, like, even, like, at Walmart or anywhere. My first time seeing it was today. They also had um, the Hot Wheels cereal. That's kind of like, um, what's the name of that cereal? Lucky Charms. But it had, like, a sweetened fruit cereal and marshmallows. So it was a little bit different. And they also had the Reese's Bunnies cereal. So if that's anything that you're interested in, keep an eye out for that. And when I try this, I'll let you guys know what I think about it. But I, I'm kind of excited to try it, even though I'm not much of a cereal person. So um, I'll definitely keep you guys posted on that. And down here, I grabbed a graduation card. My friend's granddaughter graduated from high school. So um, I'm going to throw some money in here and give that to her. And dollar shit, like this is a really nice card. It's like a 3D card for a dollar twenty-five. Actually, I think this was a dollar. Yeah, this was a dollar. So I got this for her. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna throw some money in there for her, um, and give that to her. She actually just had a graduation party, and I felt bad because we couldn't go because um, we were having issues with our car and with us being sick. It just was not a good time. Um, so we're going to meet up with her at some point so I can give her that. And I, I know I bought another graduation card. I, even my daughter told me that I picked one up, but I don't know where it is. So I don't think it had a year on it, so I could probably keep it and I'll just give her this one. I don't know. Anyways, I also picked up a couple Father's Day cards. Um, since you're not going to see this until after Father's Day for me, Father's Day is tomorrow. But since you're not going to see this until after Father's Day, I can show you just in case hubby watches this. Um, but my hubby is an outdoor guy. He loves camping and fishing and hunting and all that. Um, so my daughter got him this one. And these cards were 50 cents a piece. Right? 
Yes, these were 50 cents a piece. And they're Hallmark. You can't beat 50 cents a piece for a Hallmark card. Come on. If you're getting your cards anywhere else but Dollar Tree, why? Why? Don't you like having money in your pocket? Stop it. Go to Dollar Tree. <laughs> of course, that's up to you. Um, I also picked this one up uh, for him from me. Um, yeah, they have super cute cards. So... I picked those up for him. And again, it's a Hallmark. I don't think they have anything but Hallmark there now. I could be wrong, but I don't think they do. And then I also picked up some ramen for my daughter. She has been loving this teriyaki beef. I actually got her teriyaki chicken last week. And she liked that, but they didn't have any of that. So I picked this up. And I believe for $1.25, this is actually cheaper than it would be at Walmart. Not by much, but I mean cheaper is cheaper. And I was already there, so I picked up that. There's eight of them. I just picked up a whole, you know thing of them and they had tons on the shelf uh tons of these so i definitely did not clear them out i wouldn't do that um i also picked up this dustpan um because well, i mean it's a dustpan you know what it's for right <laughs> um and that's what i got it for um i didn't pick up the handle for it because i have a dustpan already that has a handle and i'm hoping that that's gonna fit in here so i'm gonna see if it's gonna fit and if not and i have to buy a handle then so be it i'll just i'll buy a handle that's fine and last but not least, I know I told you guys that I bought something that a lot of other people were looking for and they either found it and they have it or they can't find it, but they want it. I found it and it's for the kids for the summer. I know I've been teasing this. I'm going to show you. I promise. Okay. So I've looked online for these and for one of them, it's like $10 on Amazon. So I had to get this for $1.25, such an amazing deal. And if it's good quality and it works, I can't wait. Okay. Are you guys ready? This is probably no big deal. Some of you are just going to be like, "Ugh, really? That's what you have me waiting for. And some of you might be excited with me. And for those of you who are excited with me, excited with me. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Here's what I picked up. It is the Boogie Balloons. These are the refillable water balloons or the reusable water balloons. You get two in a pack. And when I saw these, I've been looking online for these. I actually looked last year. My friend and I were talking about getting these last year um, for this year. It was like the end of uh, last summer. So we were talking about getting them for this year. And then when, as soon as I found out that these were going around Dollar Trees, I was like, I have to wait. I have to get them from Dollar Tree because these things are so stinking expensive if you go on Amazon if I had to get them from Amazon I definitely would have of course you know for the kids to have a good time to have fun um and for days where it's just too stinking hot nobody wants to go anywhere or do anything we just go right outside my place here and they can just have fun with this instead of us having to grab everything and go to the park granted it's not that far from my house but um Instead of having to do all that, we could just go outside and just play with this and they can have a good time and cool off. Um, so yeah, um, I actually bought six of these. So there's five boxes here and then this one here. I've already opened this so I can show you what they look like because I know some people have bought these already, but they're not opening them and showing you what they look like. And a lot of the ones that I've seen online have like a hard plastic going around the middle and like a magnet so that it just clamps shut automatically when it fills. So we are going to take a look at this and then I'm going to fill up that little pet thing there with water and we're going to see if these work because I don't know about you, but when people find something new like this, that usually goes for more somewhere else. Like I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to know what it's about and I want to know if it works. Like show me everything. Right? So, okay. This is what it is. There's the two halves. They are connected. So you're not going to lose them. So you're going to fill this up with water. You're supposed to put this in water according to the directions. It does come with directions on how to use it. <clears throat> so you're going to uh, fill it with water and then you close it under water. And you have to make sure that there's no gaps so that there's no leaks or anything. Um, and there's no magnet on this. It kind of closes like an Easter egg would. It has like that lip there. Um, and you fill it up with water and then you just close it. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. Can I do it? Probably. Probably not. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, I got it. So you're going to fill this up with water. And then when you throw it, it breaks on impact. 
So imagine this filled with water and I'll fill it here with water in a second. Um, you want to make sure it's closed all the way around so there's no leaks. And then you throw this and it hits somebody and it breaks open. And then that falls to the ground. All you got to do is pick this up and reuse it instead of picking up those tiny water balloons. And water balloons, guys, they are so stinking expensive, especially those, um, I I'm not going to throw out brand names. I'm not trying to get in trouble here, but there are those ones that will fill many at a time. Who's picking those up? After your kids have fun with those, who's picking those up? I bet you it's not them. So you got to go around your yard and you got to pick up all those. And if you get your kids to pick those up, <laughs> hats off to you. Congratulations. Seriously. Um, but you don't have to worry about this with it, that with this. You just pick these up, rinse them off if you have some dirt or grass on them, dry them out, and then put them away for next year or put them away for the next time that you want to use them. So this one in person, like on camera, it looks orange for some reason. I think that's just my lighting, but it looks orange on camera, I think. Um, but in person, it looks kind of pink and it does come up too the other one is a blue one here's the other one it's blue um so we're gonna fill these up we're gonna give this a shot i'm gonna fill up that thing i'll be right back all right guys i got my water let's try this out we're gonna see if this is really worth it for a dollar 25 this way if you guys find them in the stores and you want them for your kids or your nieces your nephews your grandkids whatever you can grab them while you can for $1.25. So here we go. You're supposed to put it all the way in the water and close it while it's in the water. I don't know if I could do this with one hand. Let me see. There we go. Okay. It's closed. And I'm just doing this with cold water. I'm sorry, you can hardly see. I'm doing this with cold water because that's most likely what's going to come out of your hose if you're outside, right? Okay, and here we go. It's closed. It's not leaking. This is water that's dripping off of it because it is wet. But I mean, as far as leaking, it's not leaking. It looks like it worked. Right? For $1.25. Wow. I am kind of surprised. All right, let's break this puppy open. Um... All right, I'm going to empty out this water. And before I do that, I'll even fill this one up. Now I'm struggling a bit to get this closed, but I'm also doing this with one hand. This is going to be so much easier and it's effortless to get these closed. It really is. Like once I get it in the right spot, I'm not struggling. Like for if you're using both of your hands, you're not going to struggle at all. Okay, here's the other one. I pushed some water out, but here's the other one. Whoop. Okay, you don't want to squeeze these because it will spray out a little bit of water. But if you just fill it and close it and then throw it. Awesome. Let's see if the blue one leaks up. Oh. Yeah, it's letting out some air. So just don't squeeze them. And you should be okay. All right. I will be right back. We're going to empty out this and then we'll just throw them in here just to see them, you know, pop open. I'll be right back. All right. Are you guys ready? I'm just going to drop them from the top of the container. It's not a very big container. I mean, it's a nice size for treats, but it's not like a very deep container. So I'm just going to drop this in here and we can watch it explode. Okay. You ready? It worked. It broke open because of the way it fell. There is some water in here, but if you, I mean, if you're throwing it at somebody, that's just going to hit the ground and it will let all the water out. Wow. That is pretty stinking cool. There's all the water. They're empty. And again, they're attached, so you don't have to worry about, you know, once this breaks, you got to go find one piece and then find the other. They're attached. They're not going to come apart. That is pretty stinking cool. Yep. These kids are going to have a blast with these this summer. And if you find these, I highly recommend that you pick them up while you can. Don't sleep on these because, again, go check Amazon. They're a lot more expensive. So this was a great find from the Dollar Tree. So thank you, Dollar Tree. <laughs> 
All right, guys, that is everything that I picked up from the Dollar Tree this time. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you're still here and you actually watch me play with these water balloons, thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, subscribe, comment, and like it. And I will see you guys next time. Next time I should have a Sam's Club haul. So come on back and see what I got from Sam's Club. I can't believe I spent 20 minutes on just this little bit of stuff. But I guess uh, I'm a yapper. <laughs> but thank you again. Um, I will see you guys next time. God bless. Love you guys. Bye.